what's up everyone welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be doing a product review uh, a couple weeks back i picked up some of these rgb lights uh, made by small rig and um, i've been in the market for some time already to look for some lights that i can add as a fill or as a practical or like a hair light so I've kind of looked around and, and came across these and I really like Small Rigs products so I figured uh, I wanted to give it a try. And so I picked them up, like I said, a couple weeks back. I actually did an unboxing video. Uh, my last one kind of giving you a rundown of what was in the box. If you want to check that out, you can go and, and take a look at it. But, you know, when it comes to lighting, I think lighting is extremely subjective, right? At the same time, I think that you can have really really good lighting and I think you can have really really bad lighting and I think I've experienced both of those spectrums uh, whenever I've done any videos but I think lighting is definitely an important aspect whenever you're creating content whether it's for yourself or for customers so having a good understanding of how to light you know a set or a commercial whatever it may be I think really goes a long way and so I did a series of tests uh, with these lights of different ways that you could use them. Like I said, they're subjective and there's just some of the ways that I kind of thought about whenever setting these lights up. So what I want to do is I'm going to run through those tests so you guys can take a look at them. And then after that, I'll kind of give you my, my two cents of my overall uh, experience with them and what I thought of them. So I really hope that you like uh, these videos and I'll catch you in a little bit. So I wanted to just start with a baseline here using my newer softbox as my main light. Typically when I do lighting, I will use a three point light system where I'm using a main light, a fill light, and a hair light. But I wanted to just kind of give a baseline. As you can see right here, you're having a nice soft light coming from the right and you're creating a nice dark contrast on the left side of my face. And so this is really just gonna be the base as we kind of progress through all of these different tests that we're gonna be running. So we're gonna kind of go through a couple different ways that uh, I would use this light and kind of letting you have an opportunity to see the quality of it and some ways that uh, you could use it and some ways that I've used it. But you know, right now you're seeing it as a fill light, uh, right? So you're still having a nice uh, soft box light coming from the right side and using this as a fill light to complement that light still gives you a little bit of a contrast. Uh, you're not gonna get as dramatic as uh, the baseline look, right? It's very, very dark, but you would still have a nice look here that you could achieve uh, using it as a fill light. So for our next comparison, what we're gonna be using the small rig as is a hair light. And this particular setup, we're having the diffuser on the actual small rig, so it's creating a nice soft look. I really liked how this looked. It looks very clean, it looks very soft. It's not a very harsh light, even despite the size of the actual light itself. It's creating a nice glow on the upper left a corner of my face so I really like that look uh, one of the things to kind of remember when using the diffuser is that you're gonna get additional spill of light in the background uh, so just something to think about also so as we move into the next uh, comparison we're gonna leave uh, the small rig as a hair light but we're gonna be switching from the diffuser to the honeycomb and right off the bat you know you can still see you're getting a nice soft light it's not harsh uh, and you're getting that nice glow on the upper left side of my face and it looks nice it looks pleasing to the eye and it's like i said not harsh and one of the things that i like about the honeycomb 
over the diffuser is that I can control more of the light. With the diffuser, you get a lot more spill and less control opposed to with the honeycomb, it's more directional. So in my day to day, I would probably be using the honeycomb more than I would be using the diffuser if I was using it as a hair light. So with this comparison, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the small rig and using that as the main light. But we are going to be using a bounce board to really soften that look up. A lot of the problems you get when you're using a smaller light is that if you point it directly at you, a lot of times it's going to be very harsh. So a good way to eliminate some of that harshness is using a bounce board. And so as you can see right here, you're getting a nice soft uh, you know, look uh, with this light setup and with this one in com comparison to the very first one, you're getting that long contrast on the left side of the face. But once again, still really nice and not really harsh in comparison to a lot of other lights out there. So we're going to continue to leave the small rig in the same way that we had it last time as a bounce. And so now we will incorporate it as a fill light, right? So because the small rig has the ability to dim, you know, the brightness, you do have the ability to have a contrast look or maybe a darker look or a lighter look, depending on what you're trying to accomplish for your shot. All right, for this next uh, test, what I've done now is I've moved the soft box from the right side to the left side. So you have that soft look coming from the left side and you're having that drastic uh, contrast on the right side, similar to what we had as our base test. And one of the things that I picked up from another YouTuber, his name is Ben Johnson, is he had a light in the background and then he was using a practical light, almost like the light in the background was lighting him up from the back so I played around with that idea here and, you know I don't think I got the color perfect but you know it was still fun to kind of play around with and the light is super soft I have the diffuser on uh, but like I said if I wanted a little bit more directional I'd probably use the honeycomb and of course uh, one of the last tests uh, is using them as a background light now um, these uh, right now there is no honeycomb on them there's no diffuser I believe they're at about 80% and it really gives a nice uh, background color you know nice separation from the background so this is probably one of the ways that I would want to use it also uh, if I was shooting videos or even some of my YouTube videos and you'll probably see them moving forward all right, and our final test is going to be using them as a vlog light, uh, attaching them to the hot shoot. Um, when I was doing the unboxing, I did uh, attach it to the hot shoot itself. So if you want, you can go back and check out the video. But you can see here, I put two comparisons, one with the diffuser, the other one with the honeycomb at about 100%. I would say when you are adding the diffuser you're probably going to lose about 20 to 30 percent of brightness and you can also see the comparison here that with the honeycomb you're going to have a darker background all right so that wraps up the test i um, wanted to give my two cents about the light and and kind of you know what i thought of it as far as the the build quality you know the steel is a nice um, a feature to have. I don't feel like it's going to break so easy or it will break like if it fell by accident. So I like the build quality of it. You know, at $99, I mean, that's a really, really good deal considering everything that it comes with. You know, it's CRI 95 plus, you know, it's the full range of RGB. You know, it allows you to, to dial in that temperature, you know, Kelvin from all the way down to 2,500, all the way to 8,500. So, you know, if there's a time that I wanna use it to complement my soft box, I can have those lights be in, in pretty good close proximity when it comes to the color. So that's always a nice feature. Um, having both the diffuser and the honeycomb coming in the package, I think is really, really great. As you saw throughout the videos, if I want more of a directional light without having so much spill that you get from a diffuser, having the honeycomb is really, really nice. And like I said, having them both is, is a great feature. 
Uh, the thing that I did like is I did find it handy with the threads, having threads on both the horizontal and the landscaping. So it allowed me to get creative when it came to um, using it in different ways. And even if I wanted to get a male to male and kind of put them together, I could. So I thought that that was really, really cool. Being as far as the uh, menu goes, I think the menu was pretty easy. It took me a little bit of time to kind of understand the different uh, scenes when it came to their menu and how it worked. But you know, after a couple minutes, you know, I kind of got the hang of it. Um, as far as the um, magnet plate goes, uh, I found that if I was putting it on a piece of metal that was the size of the back plate itself, it didn't really move if I had the diffuser on it or the honeycomb, but I feel like it struggled and it didn't stay in place if, if the metal um, that I was attaching it to was thin right, like maybe a rod or something like that. I found it that it was slipping. Even when I put it on my fridge um, by itself was fine, but as soon as I put the diffuser or the honeycomb, it started to slip down and sag. So that was one of the things that I saw. As far as the battery, the battery was pretty good. Um, I think I was able to do all of those tests in one charge and not have any problems. And there were times that I was running the light at about 100%. So, um, but that, that's really the conclusion that I had. Um, if you guys have any questions about these lights, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to answer any of those questions. Uh, I uh, have left a link on the description of this video if you're interested in purchasing any of these lights. Uh, they're affiliate links, so uh, you know, you'll go to Small Rig and you can pick some of these up. Um, I definitely feel like it's a good tool that I'm gonna be adding to and complementing to what I currently have. Uh, so I definitely look forward to using these more and more. And, uh, but that really just wraps it up. I just wanna thank you so much if you've hung out through the whole video. I know I just wanna say thank you. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will catch you guys in the next video.